Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and this is a subject that is coming into the Premier League this upcoming season. It's about VAR. Um, what I'm going to address on is what was my personal views on it. Um, I'd like to get yours in as well so don't be afraid to comment down below. Uh, you know, let's get a discussion going. Are you looking forward to it coming into the game? Are you not? Um, have you seen it? Have you not? Um, are you going to give it a chance? You know, and all that kind of stuff. Put it all down in the comments below. I really would like to know. Um, let's start off with this answer question goal. Sorry for mispronounced name against Cardiff. Now, if you look at this picture. You will see that he's 100% offside when the goal went in. And Cardiff picked up a defeat because of this goal. Um, but I've got uh, an opinion for say um, when it comes to offside goals. Obviously, I like my football to be fair. I don't necessarily like it to be you know, one-sided and all that stuff, even if it is from my team. Um, but with VAR, it does even it up. It's either going to work for you or against you. Obviously, if it works for you, it's super. If it works against you, it's going to be, you know what. Um, but I just want to address the VAR situation that is going to occur in the Premier League. A lot of people say it takes time um, to come to a decision for say. Um, now if you are a regular subscriber of my channel or you've seen my Premier League predictions you will have heard me say a few words about this before. I have actually seen it in the MLS. Um, now we're not just taking the VAR option out of there, we are also taking out the MLS about the uh, pitch side um, leaving, so whether they're closer to the dugout or the other side, they are free to leave on the other side, um, but it's up to the referee to enforce that. We are taking a few rules from the MLS and bringing it into the Premier League. Um, the quickest decision I've seen in the Prem in the um, MLS in the Premier League, not quite yet, um, is a straight red card. Um, you know, I will say it's a red card. Studs up, two footed, I think it was. Um, it went into the player, and the referee gave him a yellow card, which I thought, hold on a minute, that's a red. Um, but they went back to the VAR, 20 seconds later he was off. The, the, uh, the longest decision I've seen in the MLS, I know, if you lo I know a lot of you won't like the MLS, uh, obviously I know you call it certain things, and, but I do, I do like watching the MLS, it brings me a lot of, um, you know, a lot to know about uh, VAR, especially because it's been used so long over there. Um, but you know, you look at the MLS and that's not a bad league to look at. Um, for example, if you look at the Ladies World Cup this year, um, FIFA didn't use it right. Um, now let me just address on that situation. With VAR, it's a good tool and I'll get on to a bit more of the time in a minute but it's a great tool but unless you're going to use it properly and you know don't actually rip the mick out of it then it is going to be a bit of a problem um, but you you know, as I said, you watch the Ladies World Cup, FIFA did like, uh, come lightly off it come the end of the tournament. Um, obviously, uh, Scotland have got through to their last 16, I believe, in the Ladies World Cup. Yes, I did watch it. Um, but you have got to really take the time for it to settle. Now, the timing of it, 
Um, I know a lot of you saying VAR does take time, VAR does this, VAR does that. Let's re uh, reverse psychology a minute, if that's the right word. The VAR is there to play a certain clip, let's for say an offside goal or a penalty. It plays that clip at exactly the timing of the people behind the screen, the VAR officials call them, um, that they want it played at. It's then up to the referees whether what way the decision goes. Um, but it's the referees taking the time, not the actual VAR itself. As I've said, the VAR plays what speed, what angle, what everything it you know it's trained to do. The only time I would really blame it on the VAR if is there was a technical fault, which obviously VAR can't stand up for. Um, there's another thing I would change about the way we're going to use VAR. Um, now, this is no disrespect to the referees or, you know, I would actually make the final call to the people behind the screen. Um, yet again, I've seen it in uh, Australia where I use it. Um, people behind the screen, I think there are three people there for a reason in Australia, if I, if I believe that's correct. Um, you got, you know, the referees and they go yes, no or whatever. Um, and then the final call comes to the ref on the pitch. I think what we should do instead of making the match official have the final call, let the people behind the screen do it. Um, as I've said, they're seeing the situation. We're seeing a probably much more better view. You know, sometimes we have sunlight in the screen. That's not going to help the match official on the pitch. You know, people in the room, probably nice dark room, probably can see the screen great. I would actually let them call the shots, not the fourth official on the pitch. Let the referee keep the piece on the pitch by all means, and when bookings and red cards need to be given, then yet yeah, fair enough. But we do need VAR to take time, which it will. It will also level the game out. I always believed, and I still do up to this point, that VAR was brought in, not because of the offside goals and, you know, all these other things. I believe it's brought in because how much diving goes on in the Premier League. Um, I know, I'm not going to name any certain players, but half you do know one player dives and another player dives and, you know, and it gives the crowd a big uproar. Um, I am not a fan of diving. I've always have been a fan of fair play. Um, as I said, I'm a football fan. I do support. I am. I do support, and I am um, from a team that's in the Premier League. So I will see it in action. I've seen it in action. I've seen it in action at Wembley. I've seen it in action on telly. You know, and I will see a lot more of it this coming season. But if I was you, I'd just say give VAR a fair chance. Um, as I said, when the time going on, don't think it's a VAR itself. Unless there's a technical fault, it's the referees coming to a decision. That's what I said, let the people behind the screen call the shots. Um, but... I am looking forward to a much more fairer um, Premier League season um, and all the other stuff. But guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.